Queen Anne's Sanctuary where horses have beautiful place to live and they are rescue horses and I'm working here as a volunteer. Today is a training. This training will be made by Nancy Slater, trainer of natural horsemanship and she was in my video, last video in English, Pat Parelli Center. She was there also but now she will be run this training here in the sanctuary. I'm working here for a couple months. I'm so impressed about those old people uh, because they have hurt in a hand. <laughs> so I'm so happy to be here with these horses and with this kind of people. I think they train already. Let's go. Let's go see. Take a look. So you check in your bands? Right between the eyes. Now take hold of your rein. Uh huh. And touch your horse's face. Good. And then release. She's soft. And then ask for the other side. Touch your horse's face. So that's your emergency brake right there. Okay. Your energy goes up. Go forward. Ah, oh, energy down. Squeeze. Get your horse to back up. Okay. It's not about. get my horse to back with just my reins we should be able to do whatever pressure is pressure whether it's a bit a halter a leg a spur a stick a rope a rein doesn't matter pressure is pressure if it's applied appropriately phase one phase two phase three phase four if we need to and full release then the horse learns to be safe calm Okay, so ask her forward. Energy up and look somewhere. Squeeze behind the fence. Squeeze. There you go. Now you're in motion. So leave her alone. Now sit down and lift your rein up. Now continue to back up. Lift your rein up until she takes a step backwards. Look up. You're going straight back. Straight back. Straight back, one step. Straight back, one step. And relax. Stop, stop, stop. Release, release. Relax. Good. So, horses go forward, right? And they don't often go backwards or sideways. So, we got to get a really good, good backup so we have a very decent stop, right? You're going to ride your horse forward, do the train, and then you're going to say, oh, I'm not going. Forward. Just look up. You gotta go somewhere. You gotta look over there where you're going. Here we go. Just go somewhere. Good girl. Okay, and a wall. So you're gonna sit down, squeeze in front of the cinch, lift your rein up, lift your reins up until you get a backup and release. Put your reins down and let her relax. Good girl. Nice connection. I know, stand in it. No, I like to torture people. Just stand up straight, point your finger, they go in there. Bang, bang, bang. See what you're doing is you're pulling him right back to you. So send him over there, and go again. Sometimes it's just awareness. We don't know what we're doing unless we have eyes on the ground. That's why it's so nice to come to play days and have somebody say, well, that didn't make sense to me, so I know it didn't make sense to him. Right. Okay, so point and just, ah, oh, stand up like you're a doorman. Here you go. Yeah. You have to experiment with timing and how much pressure. Okay. I would shorten the rope and go. Shoulder. Shorten the rope. Inch. Inch him. Get him out of your space. Yes. Now send him again. She needs to stay in the same place. Oh, what a beautiful day! <laughs> that 
what I'm talking about. Yes, that was nice. The horse will try to figure out what we want. And if we're misleading with our cues and our body language, they're not going to figure it out. We have to do the right thing. We have to release them when they try. And a release is just relaxing and cocking the leg. Go forward. Don't go forward. Go forward. Don't go forward. But I'm not pulling him. Yeah, I know. Habits are hard to break. <laughs> you know, the hardest student for me to teach is one that's been riding all their life. And then they try to learn this. That's what happened with me because I had to go, okay, I think I know everything about horses. And then I didn't know psychology. And I kind of had to reteach myself. And it was very hard. Slow, slow. Woo! <laughs> Good girl. Yeah. Competition trail rock star. <laughs> Hey girl, <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> That's the girl, That's the girl. <laughs> with the dog. <laughs> Can you tell me something to to my viewers about you, <laughs> about your place, about sanctuary? I think no more horses you're taking, yes? You have, how many horses do you we're have? Not, we're not taking any right now, oh, because see? we have 34. Wow. Yeah, we have 23 acres. Yeah. So. If you want to be volunteer, come here. <laughs> and the horses get to be horses, so, it's, yeah. you know, they're not stuck in a stall all day. They're in a herd. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, yeah. and I, I record you last time when you were um, put your horses in. Like, you know, they get oh. wild, like, yeah. you know, in a herd, and you are a um, leader without <laughs> stick even. Uh <-huh. laughs> I was so surprised, and I recorded it in the last video. <laughs> so the, the, um, the first thing you use is your, your intention, your body language. Yeah. So, you and then if we have to reinforce it, we yeah. have a stick or string or whatever. Yeah. So if I'm not doing it right, mm -hmm. you know, or if I am doing it right, I can mm -hmm. do it without the stick. And yeah. that, that was my experiment That's the other so day. And cool. they did. They were very yeah. good. I yeah. saw it. Yeah. Without stick, you know, yeah. you can be a horse. Yeah. Just person <laughs> and a horse yeah. in a one. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta learn to speak horse. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. That's Foxy. That's Robin's horse. And this horse is for training, as you can see. Don't turn. 
Let's go forward. Let's go forward. And then I leave her alone. And then we whoa. And then we come back up. And then I leave her alone. Okay, so pressure is pressure. It makes sense to a horse. The release is going to teach them that they did the right thing. Tap, tap, tap. Don't give up until you get a forward step. And then leave them alone. Find a place to release when he turns his head to the right. He's 
not doing it. Don't release it now. Stop. Don't ever stop. with this hand, 
and tag the hip. Yes! Now let him stand. Now I have your attention, Jack. So if he looks the other way, you'll go to the other hip. Gotcha now. So you won't be ignored. Okay. And he'll go, but there's stuff happening. Turn and look at me. Turn and look at me. Okay. Turn and look at me. Gotcha now. I understand. Keep her nose on the target. Okay? Hold your rein. They're too long. Slide your hands down. Back her up. And then when she feels at a safe distance, you can reapproach. You know how horses like, like to turn bulk? Do a 180. If you teach them this, they're going against your instincts, but you'll be safe. And now you come up. Okay, and halt. Right. Keep her nose on the object, no matter what. Keep her nose facing me, no matter what. Keep her nose facing me, no matter what. And then she'll feel safe. Okay? So if she ever gets spooked about something blowing in the wind or anything like that, you put her nose on it, towards it, and you say, let's back away. And then she'll get to a safe distance and she'll be good. Oh, you're my savior. Good. So, correct. Yep. Now you're back. So there's a difference between turn and says, nope, it's willpower. Horses have a ton of willpower. We not so much. Relax. Don't let it go forward. You can fix it. 
Go back to the end. Back, back. Push the hip. Do over. Try not to pull on her face. But if you have to, back her up. Squeeze and lift. There. Now push the shoulder. Yes. Ever so slowly. Good. Now yep. relax. Just relax. Stop. Ah. She has to see what the goal is. Now she's wiggling, so put her, her hip back. And then release, release, release. Rubber. Good girl. Because she got a little frenzied there and she was thinking leg means go forward. We don't want the horse to think leg means go forward. Sometimes it means go forward, but it doesn't always mean go forward. Sometimes it means move the hip, move the shoulder. Or back up. Baby steps, right? Incrementally teach your horse what the answer is. And they so appreciate that. But we're so task oriented, goal oriented, that we just get very direct line thinking and we try to force it to happen. I want my horse to try for me different things. Will this make you happy? She looks a lot calmer too. Something else, she can't just walk away. Here you go, here you go, good. So the release teaches. If I leave you alone, you've done a good job. We're going to either teach a horse to do something right or something wrong. Because whenever we release, we go, okay, that's what, that's what I want. Whether it was right or wrong. Yeah. Whether it's right or wrong. Learning is learning. We have to be good teachers. Okay, so when he does something right, yay, Bucky! Good boy, aww. Good boy. And really give him some gratitude and appreciation, you know what I mean? Good boy, do you like belly scratches? Because <laughs> if we ask for too much too fast and we're never happy, horses give up. I'm leaving. People are like, what kind of horse is that? I want to buy that horse because he's so well trained. <laughs> like, no, it's all the work I put in. They used to ask me that about shamans. So what's her breeding? She's just anybody's horse. Back up. Try not to use your reins. Try not to use your reins. Yeah. Yes, she started to do it. Release, release. So now she's starting to do it. Okay, so just practice walking on the rail and stopping and backing up and only use your reins as a last resort. You're almost there. Just think about looking up. Ah, uh, okay. Try not to use your reins. I know it's hard. Trust her. That's it, grab hold of that saddle, that a girl. <laughs> Try to resist using those hands. Steer with your legs. The more we use our reins, the less they use their brains. She wants to go out that gate. Right. Well, well take her by the gate. Places to stop in here, okay? So she's looking for release. Find a release in here. When my horse would finally get it right, I would jump off. I'd be like, sorry. <laughs> You're amazing. with your leg. Good girl. So let her sit and enjoy herself. I mean, when they get it right, we can't be too quick to drill it, you know? It's like, good girl, this was the goal. Let her stop and look at you and go, Mom, was that good? Look at her. She's like, was that good, Mom? So just leave her be for a minute. She's connecting with you. I love it. <laughs> love it. She's a sweetheart. Okay, so now she's ready to go again. You got in a bad position and he just stepped away. Please don't give up. Stay behind the shoulder. Stay. Well, you move too. You're riding the horse, so stay on the horse. 
he'll eventually turn and then you'll relax. I would give him that. I would give him that. I would put my stick up on the, on his back and, and give him that try. Okay, you're not satisfied. Okay. Dana should have stopped before the last one. You got him to turn. Okay. And you didn't stop the pressure. Let's sit up until he looks at you and stop. Good, good, good. Relax, relax, relax. Good. Good. And if he just walks away, we don't want that. Relax your body. He's still focused on you. Wait till he changes his mind. See him rubbing his front leg? That's a release. See the neck shake? That's a release. Licking and chewing? That's a release. Let him enjoy himself there for a minute. Because he's being focused, he needs to know. Oh, step to your. There, stop. It's just enough. I'm not going to go there. Good. If you focus on me. But I will get ready to do something about it. There, now just relax. Yeah. Now relax your body when your horse is doing right. Yeah. If we never release the pressure, they're going to run away from us. Nobody likes a nag. There's phase one, phase two, phase three. Okay. Go back to phase one. And follow through. So short your rope so you can be effective. It looks like you're still asking him to go faster. You need to tag that shoulder. You need to tag that shoulder. You need to tag that shoulder. Shoulder. Point. Tag. Point. Tag. Point. Don't jerk the rope. Overhand pitch at the shoulder. Good. So you got to find a place to release him. So far I haven't seen any. Your hands are out like this all the time. This is a release. Okay? But if you're just going and go, and go, and go, and go. Right? When he walks, you should go, oh, good, you're walking. I'm not going to ask you anymore. Ask him to trot, and he, he starts, starts trotting. trotting. You, you go, go good. Now I'm not going to ask you anymore. I've seen people trail ride, and for every step the horse takes, they smart him. Doink, 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 doink. And if they stop spurring the horse, the, the horse, horse stops. stops. Well, how fair is that? Ask the horse to go. Leave him alone. Just hold your finger there. Lift your rope. And push the shoulder. 
Yeah, no, leave him alone. Relax your body. You can face him if you like, but just relax your body. Yeah, if he screws up, get him to go. He can screw it up. Just fix it. Be clear. Have him respond. Yeah, now leave him alone. Yes. Yes. Feel that shoulder. Good. Now switch, switch back. back. Don't let him go too far. far. Go to the back fence. Easy. Now back fence. Easy. Good. 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 There. Now have him relax. Turn. Okay, wait. Give him some rest. Talk a leg. You look too military. Good. You're military. Relax. Ah. Enjoy this beautiful day. Look around. And leave your horse alone. Ah. Wow, you got to the scary corner and it was good. But see, he was just running and running and running and running. Horses run away. You can use your eyeball pressure, right? You can start to look at his hip, and then you lift your, your popper, and he should look back at you. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> good boy. Good game. Good game, buddy. Yeah, he's really relaxing now. Head down, licking his feelings. Go to the hip. Go. You yourself. Go to that hip over there. Push that hip. Now push that hip. Now, now look and relax. Okay? So when he's not looking at you, you push the hip. That's the catching thing. What's happening here? You're not going to be trained today. It's not your turn. No. So once you help him out, you sit there for five seconds and you are like, okay, <laughs> Chciałaś? Witam Ciebie piękna, nie? No, o nie bój się, widzicie? She's so scared. That's the horse. Who is scared? Mia. Hey, sweetie. Don't be scared. Mia. I'm gonna bring them car because that's my favorite horses because they're so scared of people. Uh, Sophia doesn't, but Mia, yes. Yes, you got it. I have to uh, make it smaller because she's afraid of this noise. I mean Mia. Let's see about it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Did you see? <laughs> yes. Hey Mia, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have one more. That's why she need to stay inside because of her eye, condition of her eye. 
this needs. Okay, see you later. The same way they they won't go out. And now he need to follow her. And come back to the same spot. Hey, Mother Nature just takes over. <laughs> he need to follow her but he's not. And that's not supposed to be like this. You need to make one circle. Mommy! <laughs> Mommy's here. <laughs> I'm looking everywhere for you. <laughs> Good. I like her better. <laughs> 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 you! <laughs> <laughs> Great job. Nice job, man. It picked you over the game. Ah, good boy. Walk away from your horse. She's got to find you. Here we go. Good girl. Good girl. Get back in line. Where is your mama? Wow! <laughs> Back in line. There you go. Oh, maybe. So move the horse forward. Oh my gosh. You're not walking. Ah, where's my mom? You should go to her mommy. So walk on around. Pineine. Go find your helper. After maybe 10 minutes. Huh, good a little doing. Marbles. It's a good dose of emotional fitness. Right? Think, think, think. Find your human.
They're going to look for it. They're going to hunt it. If they don't know what the goal is, they don't want to just run around. 
And a horse that can be really good under saddle and can handle the lead bit. Again, you take that lead rope off. Nothing's left but the truth. Thank you for allowing me to yell at you. <laughs> well done.